Hello, dear all. So let's see in our new topic. The topic name is structure of hair. So actually, student uh, here in insect, uh, the body is covered with hard, hard, uh, hard chitinous exoskeleton. We can say here cuticle, and uh, that is responsible for to gives the protection from uh, various mechanical injury, and even also that prevent excessive loss of moisture. so this all that we learned in this uh, uh, insect body wall so basically in insect uh, head that are uh, very important for why because the insect uh, performs that uh, the insect body performs three region that namely head thorax and abdomen okay and this head thorax and abdomen this is important for the various activity purpose so here we can see the firstly the head actually head is consist of uh, embryonic segments this embryonic segments are this concerned with for feeding and sensory in function kai khane karita ani kai various activity purpose tyasathi head che je kai various appendages ahet that are different mouth parts even Uh, different uh, pair of antennae, pair of antennae, pair of compound eyes, and the simple eyes that is called as a ocelli. That is simple eye lens means that ocelli. These three, three, four types of appendages insect cha head worthy as that. And these uh, antennae, compound eyes, ocelli, and mouth parts have the functions. Even also, this uh, head is a highly sclerotized capsule. That is a kadak as a hel. sclerotized capsule and with uh, this sclerotized uh, capsule we can also called as cranium tala apan cranium sudha mantat and these uh, compound eyes are located at uh, dorsal lateral laterally uh, sides on the head region and these i have the uh, separate visual elements inside the com compound eyes that is called as uh, omatidia this all that uh, situated in head so uh, generally the head is formed by six segment so generally in question that class in exam saha segment pasna banlela hai plus acron okay now this is the uh, generally head segment that is called as pre antennae segment that's bears compound eyes compound eyes antennae segment then antenna intercalary segment that is a labrum and mandibular segment that is mandibles they produce maxillary segment that to have to bearing the pair of maxillae and lastly labial segment that to produce the labium this is all that present in this uh, insect head that have the total six segment and these are the all that like uh, we can say the antenna which are the flexible sensory in function mouth part consist of labrum which can we can say the upper lip त्याला आपण अपर लिप म्हणतो लॅबियम त्याला आपण लोअर लिप म्हणतो दिस ऑल दॅट द लोअर लिप लाईक लॅबियम लॅमेंडिबल्स अँड मॅग्जली दिस आर वी कॅन से दी टूथ और टीथ ऑफ इन्सेक्ट दॅट कॉमनली वी कॅन से हिअर अगेन टू पेअर्स ऑफ जॉ ऑल्सो इवन ऑल्सो हिअर प्रेझेन्स ऑफ द टंग लाईक ऑर्गन इन साईड दिस एड दॅट सी दिस इज ऑल्सो द हायपोफॅरेंक्स वी कॅन से दिस ऑल दॅट युजफुल फॉर द फिडिंग that we having of course in the various uh, or we can in uh, diverse ways and their mouth parts have the modified accordingly on the basis of this uh, appendages okay now so here we see the basically the first uh, one this various clerites that uh, very important for this uh, exam that the structure of head and even that uh, uh, it's uh, clerites these these uh, clerites are very uh thick chitinous uh, plate and that called as sclerite and collectively that to form a exoskeleton ke je ke sarva sclerites hai jancha de form kelela and collect kelele asle tala we can say that to form a exoskeleton the head of this insect is made up of various cephalic sclerite and this cephalic sclerite if we can say epicranium this is this this part is epicranium that uppermost part or dorsal region of insect head region which is lying in between te kunta asto in between and behind compound eyes compound eye cha mage okay ani head cha bilkul madhya bhagi aslela ha jo part hai tala manaycha 
epicranium i am just to mark on that head region this is called as a epicranial part okay now the second one that is a vertex this is the vertex part that here that mentioned that again i am marking that was vertex here that arrow that pointed okay now this uh, vertex and vertex is means what it is a portion of epicranium ha sudha epicranium cha portion hai and ha kuthe asto which is lies immediately behind the pons it is pons navacha next scleroids hai baga here i am marking on that uh, head scleroid or head figure he marks pons cha immediately behind बरबर तगे हा पोर्शन है वर्टेक्स एंड इन बिट्वीन दी कंपाउंड आइज कंपाउंड आइज ऐसी हा डो मध्यभागी फ्रॉन्स ऐसी भाग मे वर्टेक्स नौ दी फ्रॉन्स मीन्स वॉट फ्रॉन्स मीन्स वॉट फेसियल पार्ट हा जो फेसियल पार्ट है हा अखा दिस फ्रॉन्स इट इज ए फेसियल पार्ट ऑफ एड रिजन विच इज डॉर्सली लोकेटेड एंड टू अटैच टू दी क्लाइपीयस हा क्लाइपीयस ऐसी स्कलेराइड सोब अटैच है बहुत ब्रॉड प्लेट ब It is a broad plate-like structure, and which is lies. Who tells the immediately that anterior to the frons. जे frons जा बिल्कुल शुरुआती ला जे असले लो जे structure आये जे के part आये क्या लामने चल clypeus anterior to the frons. It is a broad place, and which is lies or located immediately anterior to the frons. And he कसर दिस तो it is a broad plate, and partially we can say the pre-plate-like structure. ब्रॉड प्लेट है एंड फ्रीली प्लेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर है क्लाइपीयस नाउ द क्लाइपीयस इज ओवर नाउ वी कैन सी दी लैब्रम आता लैब्रम बगूया लैब्रम का इट इज ए अपर लिप ज्यादा दिस इज द अपर लिप एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंट एंटीरियर लोअर मोस्ट रीजन ऑफ द हेड एंटीरियरली लोअर मोस्ट रीजन ऑफ द हेड एंड विच वी कैन से वी कैन टॉक टू लो अपर लिप ऑफ दिस इन्सेक्ट दैट इज अ लैब्रम <coughs> now we can we can uh, learn this all that this anterior view he ja atta je bagitlele hai vertex frons clypeus labrum this all parts are the anterior 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 we can say we can say also the facial part okay face view we can say the face view ata apan lateral side baguya apan lateral view baguya in lateral lateral view the first one occiput ha occiput is the part hai This occiput means what? It is a hinder part. Means the shoulder is a part. I apply such a epicranium. So, because I have told you that this is epicranium. Epicranium means the shoulder is the last hinder part. Hinder means what? Hinder part that we can stalk them to occiput. That occiput means what? Epicranium means the hinder part called as a occiput. That is a cut edge, which is located or lying in between the vertex. Vertex is made. नेक नेक मे मान मन तो जी इन्सेक्ट ची मान वी कैन से दी सर्विक्स सर्विक्स ऑन द नेक और इन बिट्वीन द वर्टेक दैट द ऑक्सीप्यूट हियर प्रेजेंट ऑफ द इन्सेक्ट हेड नाउ जेना आता जेना बदल बोलूया जेना विच जेनेलास मनता लैटरल रीजन और चीक रीजन हियर दैट इज अ जेना है बगा ये तो मी मार्क करतो है जेना इज मींस जेना मींस व्हाट द लैटरल व्यू ऑफ इन्सेक्ट और चीक रीजन ऑफ इन्सेक्ट हेड Which is lies be, below the or behind the compound eyes. Compound eyes, cha khalcha bhag, brother. Yalla mane cha compound eyes cha khalcha bhag jo dilili dilila hai. Ito maza mark hai. Okay. Atam yalla again I am marking through this uh, or highlighting through this red in color. This one part that is called as the jena and it bears a cavity. It bears a mouth cavity. He kya form karta? Akka cha kya mouth cavity form karta jena. ओके एंड विच रिसीव द मैंडिबुलर कोंडाइल हियर इन बिट्वीन देर इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मैंडिबुलर कोंडाइल मैंडिबुल कोंडाइल फॉर्म करते दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द जेना ओके नाउ दी पोस्ट ऑक्सीप्यूट आता अपन पोस्ट ऑक्सीप्यूट बदल बोलू वॉट इज मीन बाय पोस्ट ऑक्सीप्यूट ओवर नाउ पोस्ट ऑक्सीप्यूट 
Fox Institute, it is a like called a uh, region which is located in between the occiput, occiputcha made and in neck cha made in between the occiput and in neck that is called as the occiput and which is that uh, attached to the membrane of neck, neck cha membrane so attached as lela. And this region posterior to the vertex, he punasa hai, vertex of posterior part hai. And occiput hai kasha sa part hai, hinder part of epicranium. And vertex sub posterior part could lay post occiput. This is called as and which is lies behind the compound eyes. A compound eye cha party magas lila part major occiput. Okay, this is overall the different sclerites of head capsule. Okay, so hope you understood this all the sclerites of head capsule. Now, which are the sulcus or sutures that comes under in insect? This all that. Uh, uh, in a word that is a vertex again i am repeating shortly epicranium or vertex top or dorsal side of the head that uh, responsible to possess ocelli and antennae trans means what it is a present on anterior face we can say the facial part and which is the ocellus is located on it clypeus means tip like structure or broad plate like structure which attached to the trans sclerite labrum which is called as the upper lip or lower lowermost region of the insect mouth parts jena means what lateral side of insect head and which is the lower part of this uh, head or beneath the uh, eyes we can say that the lateral side or cheek region occiput means what the lateral uh, occiput means that, that is hinder part of this uh, um, vertex that is comprising most of the back of the head and which is there the occipital suture divides it forms a vertex and geni and post occiput which is the forms the margin of the occipital foramen and which is narrow ring like structure in shape and which is the post occipital suture which device it forms a occiput this is overall the sclerites of head capsule now let's see in detail about this sulcus or we can say in other way that is the sutures in insect head capsule so which are the suture here epicranial suture then frontoclypeal suture clypolabral suture genal suture subgenal suture and occipital suture post occipital suture this all that uh, that suture epicranial suture also called as a ecdysial clivage line yalas ecdysial clivage line sudha mantat epicranial suture la it is from a inverted y shape baga yacha madhe inverted y shape structure hai and which is known as a that epicranial suture which having the suture have the two arms as a don arms astat and which are called as a frontal suture. We can also call the frontal suture. Now, frontoclypeal suture. Frontoclypeal suture means what? This are the suture that present in between the frons and the clypeus that is called as the frontoclypeal suture. Frons and clypeol in between that is called as a frontoclypeal suture. Clypeolabral suture means what? The sulcus or suture that lies or present in between clypeus and labrum that is called as the lab clypeolabral suture isn't it so now the genal suture this genal suture means what the this is a lateral extension of the epistomal uh, suture and which is that uh, lying above the mandible is termed as a uh, genal suture okay now the subgenal suture which is extension of this uh, uh, lateral side of this uh, head and where the epistomal sulcus were present and which is lies behind the mandibles okay and which is termed as a hypostomal sulcus also that is called as a subgenal suture okay now the occipital suture means what occipital suture does which is here that presence of some grooves that were running across the back of the head here and that back of the head that side okay and that behind the compound eyes and which is lies or present in between the vertex and occiput that is called as the occiputal suture isn't it now the post occiputal suture last one the suture or sulcus called as post occiputal suture here also this grooves which is the line of fusion of maxillary and labially segments at the back of the head isn't it and which is present in between occiput and post occiput that is called as the post occipital suture this is overall the structure that and uh, sclerite and sorry the sutures of insect head capsule this is very important in exam point of view 
so this is here same that insect head how to that look like uh, let's see here compound eyes that mention ocelli that three simple eyes here mention cross that this one okay that frontal area even the jena that is the lateral side of insect head this is the clypeus broad plate like structure which attached to the fronds okay then again labrum lower lip of insect okay mandibles here the two jaws here present maxilla this is the second pair of jaw this overall that the present in insect okay now the same like in insect uh, uh, body that having the three head position that is called as the three head position known as prognathous type hypognathous type and opisthognathous type here not that opisthorhynchus here mentioned so opisthognathous you may, uh, you remember hypognathous means what which is the this one i am explaining this one this one figure okay hypognathous this one this is the long axis this is the long axis of the head and which is vertical in uh, vertical in position here the right angle to the long axis of the body right angle to the long axis of body and which bears the mouth parts are directed point downwards pointed downwards we can say in other hand directed to the below in position the example of this hypognathous type that is a grasshopper cockroaches gnatha means mouth hypo means below that is a vertical in position of this hypognathous that present in various insect grasshopper and cockroach now let's see in the prognathous this one prognathous means here also the long axis same like but which is head in the horizontal in line and with the long axis of the body mouth mouth body of insect which the mouth parts are directed the forward in position which is forward in position generally the insect are that comes under in prognathous beetles larvae termites even like the soldier caste of the uh, termites stick insect this all that insect having prognathous ya yeah, insect madhe prognathous type che head asta okay ata tya barobar next baguya opisthognathous now let's see in the next one opisthognathous opistho means what that here this uh, head is refluxed head is reflex as the ventrally khalcha bajula so that the mouth parts are directed backwards yacha madun ka hot ki je mouth parts ahe baga he ventrally reflex hot in between the frontal legs of insect body je ka insect cha first pair of legs ahe tya madhe tithe attach hota kute in between the coxi je ka legs a part ahe coxal region coxa Procanter femur, like that, the parts that comes under legs, but which is the backward of this mouth parts? Man, just say mouth parts. Say what? Run, which is run backward between the legs. Okay, here between the legs means between the coxa of frontal legs. Okay, this example of this red cotton bug, all suckers, plant sucker insect, they have the opisthognathous type of. mouth parts or head position so student this is overall the structure of head generally found in insect body so hope you understood thank you so this is overall this our today's topic that we learned in the head position uh, different uh, like uh, uh, sclerites of head and sutures of head thank you very much